And we have got a serial entrepreneur, Inc. 500 winner, and uh, multiple best-selling author. Give a huge, huge warm welcome to Kevin Dom. Kevin, come on up. 1982, I uh, was awarded my first sales job. My mom knew this guy named Steve Tinsley. And he was kind of this heavy set character with red hair and a, and a cap and gold chains. And he had this, uh, this boiler room in Van Nuys, California, where they would sell, this was just after the energy crisis, they would get on the phones every morning and they would sell these chemical additives to these farmers and these truckers out uh, across the country and get them set up as distributors. I don't know why my mom thought that this would be a good thing for me, but I think she thought it was a step up from the theater degree that I was heading for. So she sent me over to Steve and said, here, go work for him. So I spent this summer going into this boiler room. I'd get up at 4 o'clock every morning, and I'd drive on over to Van Nuys. And the, the, the cast of characters was crazy. I mean, these guys were smoking in there, and they were drinking in there. They'd go out, and they'd be doing cocaine. And I'm thinking, this is sales. All right. The fact is, is most people really hate sales. They hate getting out there and approaching people to, to go talk to them, try and convince them of something. And I personally, over the years, have just found sales so offensive because of my days back in r and I just, I don't want to be called a salesperson. I don't want to be sold. I don't want to be around salespeople. So that's why I became a marketer. If you take nothing else away today from me, Look at your marketing not as a lead generator, look at it as an efficiency tool. We believe that compelling messaging attracts customers predisposed to buy at a premium price. That's what happens at the party, right? You start selling them and they're like, they're like yeah, okay, whatever, man, just give me a call next week. Here, take my card. So instead, what you have to bring to the table is objectivity, the objective solution. Now, here's the thing. In order to truly be a differentiator, it's got to be unique, not even rare, preferably. And here's the difference. Unique means one, the only one in the game. Rare means there's a few of you around. So the Roar method is this. Recognize the type of buyer that you're dealing with. Observe from their perspective. That's the empathy part, right? See it from their point of view. Acknowledge their concerns. You can see it from their point of view, but never actually say to them, I get you. So that's part of the process. You need to help them understand that you actually get it. And then resolve their needs. If you can't resolve their needs, they're not your buyer. That's what marketing is all about. The seeds that you plant today in doing this work and working it consistently with commitment and investment will turn into the very things that are going to kill your competitors down the line. You have to do the homework behind it. To make that process simple, you have to live in that complexity. And when you do, then you will absolutely roar your way to success.